Hi everyone. Uh, this is a Channel Master 7000 uh, digital to analog DTV converter box. And uh, in this video, I'm going to show you uh, how to set it up and uh, uh, the and the picture quality of the this Channel Master 7000. Okay, this is the back of the DTV converter box. On the very left, you'll see a power cord. It goes directly to your wall jack uh, for the electricity. In the middle here, you'll see a bunch of connections. On the very left, this one is uh, for your antenna. Uh, you can use uh, a coaxial cable, connect one end to the antenna and then the other end to the converter box here. And uh, to the right of it, it's called RF out. You can use another uh, coaxial cable, connect one end here and the other end to the TV. And uh, on, on your TV, you need to uh, change the channel to either channel 3 or channel 4. This one uh, is set up at channel 4, but if you want to set it, change it to channel 3, just flip the switch over uh, so that the default channel will be channel 3. And all you gotta do is go to TV and then change the channel to channel channel 4, and then you'll, you'll, you'll be able to see uh, the video signal from uh, this converter box. And in the middle here, you'll uh, these four connections, the left, bottom, uh, the bottom left one is not used. The top one here, uh, with the yellow color, it's for your composite video cable. It's the one with the yellow, yellow uh, head. The, these two ones are for your audios, the white and the red one. And what sets uh, this converter box apart from other converter box is that uh, this one has a S video output. And uh, it's si the cable looks similar to this, and uh, the S video is uh, recommended by the manufacturer because it gives you a better and and clearer picture quality. If you don't have the S video, uh, you can use a coaxial cable or you can use the composite cable. Okay, uh, I'm going to show you my antenna. Uh, this one is called a Archer. Uh, I used to use this for uh, to receive my analog TV signal, and uh, this one will work fine for a digital TV signal as well, because they all work the same. Uh, you don't have to go out to buy expensive uh, antenna. You can just use uh, the one that you already had. Uh, if your house is already set up for a terrestrial um, antenna, you can also just pl plug the coaxial cable into. The wall jack and then you should be able to receive your uh, TV signal there. Okay, turn it on and uh, press menu which is on the top left and uh, you'll see five tabs on the on the left. Uh, the first one is called channel edit, second one channel scan, third one setup, closed captions, and parental control. Okay, and the first thing that we need that we need to do is go to uh, channel scan. It's the second tab, and uh, press OK, and then go terrestrial. Press OK again. Go scan all, and uh, scan all is uh, you do that on your first time. Uh, it scans all the available channels. Uh, the second one is called update. The update it allows you to update new new channels that were that weren't available when you. Uh, first do the scan all. So uh, when you have already had uh, scanned the channels, you can just go ahead and do the update and then you'll update the channel list. Okay, and then we're gonna go uh, scan all, press OK. And then you'll start scanning. And then this uh, scanning process won't take, uh, probably takes about 30 seconds or so. Uh, it scans pretty fast. Okay, when the scanning is completed, uh, you can uh, press menu to go back, uh, press menu to go back in, okay, and uh, in the first tab, you'll see channel edit, uh, press OK to enter it, uh, when you add the all uh, menu, press OK again, and then here you can uh, select the channels that uh, you want to set up as favorites. 
uh, let's say I want to set a channel 5 or ch channel 5 is my favorite uh, just click OK uh, make sure the hide it is on uh, the left column and when you press OK you'll mark a check in the heart column and when you want to delete a, cha uh, delete a channel just uh, press right button you'll jump over to the to the uh, X column and then uh, press OK again you'll mark, you'll mark a check at the uh, X which is a uh, the channel that you don't want to show up okay and then uh, press menu to go back and when you scroll down you'll see uh, favorite that's uh, the one that I just chose and then go down you'll also see the the, the channels that I just deleted okay and uh, this is the uh, this is one of the feature that it has available okay and let's go down to setup uh, setup when you go when you go to clock you you automatically uh, download uh, the date and time for you uh, because this is a digital TV signal and uh, you most likely set up uh, the time for you already and uh, this uh, converter box uh, you can use a remote uh, universal remote control to control this converter box all you have to do is uh, go to your uh, remote control and search for the pioneer cable box code and then uh, when you set it up on your uni universal control you 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 will be able you will be able to uh, set up for the uh, the channel master converter box okay and let's go down to uh, auto power down uh, this is essentially uh, when you uh, when you don't want it to run for too long you can out let it auto power down uh, this one's default set at uh, four hours uh, if I haven't touched anything uh, you'll you'll power down uh, in four hours and then you'll show a warning uh, five minutes before it powers down and you, uh, of course you can change that by pressing OK and then uh, and then change the number And uh, when uh, the fourth tab, it's the closed caption. Uh, press OK. You can select the different uh, closed caption it has available. Uh, in the preference tab, uh, you can you can uh, change the font size, the font style, the background, and etc. Okay. And the last tab, it's the parental control. You can uh, set up a password so you can control the time and the channels that you you allow your children to see okay and we exit uh, you can press the info button on the uh, right next to the power button this one it shows you the channel the channel name the time and also a brief description of the channel also it will show you the strength the signal strength on the bottom left and and then you'll say 1080i which is the uh, the resolution that this uh, channel broadcasts but when it gets to a convert box and your convert box automatically converts it to 480i and that's the solution resolution that uh, goes from your convert box to your TV and uh, when you press guide you'll be, you, you'll be able to see uh, a list of uh, TV guides that of what's uh, going to be on next on the right hand side you'll see a box it's uh, there's a brief description that tells you uh, what's going on in the in the channel okay and uh, as you can tell the video quality is a lot better than uh, the analog TV and uh, I'm using the S cable output uh, so the video quality is better than when you use a coaxial cable or a composite cable okay and uh, this is the end of the video uh, hopefully you, 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 you learn how to uh, set up your channel master digital TV converter box and uh, good luck <laughs>